Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. Strabismus is when your brain isn't combining the information from both eyes very effectively and a lot of times it results in some sort of an eye turn. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about prism. Prism is something that is put in glasses that is thicker on one side, thinner on another, and this helps a lot of times people with strabismus in a lot of different ways. So today we're gonna just talk about whether or not it can improve alignment and the way your eyes look cosmetically. You know, people with strabismus, we've got these eyes doing funky stuff and we're always looking for ways to make it less noticeable. So I'm gonna talk about if and how these can help. Before jumping into that, make sure you go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com to get access to the different resources that I have for you. Especially if you have strabismus or your child has strabismus, you can take a quiz, you can join our community, you can sign up for a Zoom call. There's a lot of information over there. First, I'm gonna just talk about the basic function of prism. Now, usually when you have prism, it doesn't look like this. It will just be in a pair of you know normal glasses. The doctor will prescribe it. You'll go get it that prescription filled and it'll, your glasses will look pretty normal. Sometimes if depending on how much prism you have, it can be really thick on one side or the other. Um, but these are what we call yoked prisms and I use them for a lot of different things because you can turn these around and face the prisms so that they're going the same direction. As you can see, uh, both of these right now, the base of the prism is going towards the outside. So we would call this base out. And what happens is the image, when you're looking through this, the image shifts towards the inside. So a lot of times, like for me, I have a little bit of esotropia. My glasses, if I were to have prescription them, would have be base out. That pushes images in and kind of matches where my eyes are so that I can get some good fusion. Usually the, the goal of prism is to get better fusion, especially if you have double vision. Um, that's always the goal. Um, another common way for prisms to be would be base in. So these would just be turned around. And this would be for somebody who has exotropia or one eye is going out and the prisms would be like this. So the base would be in for both sides. That shifts the images towards the outside. So it's shifting images out to match where the eyes are in space. When that happens, the brain is now instead of, you know, one eye pointing at the computer and one eye pointing at the water bottle over here, both eyes would be seeing the image of the computer. And so then that can fuse, work on fusion, amazing tool, love prism, okay? So the question is, does it change the way your eyes look cosmetically? So we're gonna talk about the yes and the no, okay? So yes, it can definitely improve. I'm gonna give a scenario. Let's say that I have 30 diopters of esotropia, okay? So my eye is turned all the way in. Likely I'm completely suppressing or have really bad double vision and, and I'm not getting any sort of fusion between the eyes. Now, the doctor's probably not gonna add 30 diopters of prism to compensate for that, but let's say the doctor puts in 10 diopters of prism. And when he adds that in, those images are shifted just enough that this eye's like, oh wait, I can do it. And so even though it's shifted in 10, we went from a 30 out to here because that, that gives it enough of a help that my brain can do the rest, right? So it's kind of like a little, um, you know, it's just a, a little assist. Um, and so that does, that would totally improve the alignment because now instead of 30 in, I'm only 10 in because those, those prisms are moving the image to 10 in and my eye can meet it there. So 30 is a lot worse than 10. So I don't know if that makes sense. So if, if the prism is helping you get better fusion, you're getting fusion, that's going to help with alignment because sometimes when you don't have any fusion, the alignment's really, really bad. But if you can create those circumstances that create some fusion, your brain might be able to compensate. Um, I know that like for me, I had like 12 diopters of esotropia and just putting six in my glasses was enough for me to get fusion. And so again, the, the prism does half, my brain does the other half and that is going to improve alignment, right? So that's when prism is definitely going to help if, if you have better fusion. Now, 
I did some experimenting with this, gave myself a headache. So who knows what my eyes are doing right now because they feel kind of crazy. But I just experimented because, you know, as the wearer of the prism, I'm not gonna put them on my face yet. I, I will show you, don't worry. But um, I get to experience, as I'm looking through these prisms, the whole world shifts, right? And so because this is a base in prism, my world will shift out. So I am looking at the world through these lenses and that's shifting what my brain is perceiving, right? But as I'm talking to somebody, they're also looking at me through the lenses. And so they are also getting the effect of the prism. And so my question was, does that affect the, the amount of eye turn that I have? Now, it's a little difficult for me to show you because as soon as I put these on, it affects fusion. When I put these base in and I have esotropia, and that's shifting everything out, I lose fusion big time and crap starts happening. And so that's gonna affect my eye turn. I'm, I'm guessing my eye is gonna go in. Um, my right eye will maybe pop in because I'm not getting fusion anymore. Um, but for somebody with exotropia, I just want you to pay attention to what shifts and, and I'm gonna give you the hint of what to look for. It's not, so with strabismus, my eyes are aligned, it's my pupils, right? Like it's like the colored part of my eye, that's what's turned. But when you are looking at my eye through this, the whole eye is gonna shift. So when I put these on, I want you to look at how far apart my eyes are right now, like my whole eyeball, and you'll notice that they shift out. Now the turn of my eyes and how much the eye is turning in and out, that's going to remain constant except for the fusion issue, but it's actually the whole shift. So I know some people are like, well, if someone's looking at me through these glasses, it's gonna make my eyes look worse, right? Because if, if I have, I, I know this is getting a little technical and I think some of you are into this and some of you are like boring, go to the next video, it's fine. So I have exotropia, my eye goes out, right? Scenario. So because my eye goes out, my doctor would prescribe base in prism, right? That's gonna shift the images out. But the person looking at me it's also going to have that effect for them. So it's also gonna shift my eyes out. So the question is, does it make it even worse cosmetically? Or if I had an outward eye turn, what if I did the opposite? What if I did base out and would it change the way that my eyes appear to someone else? Like, right, this is strictly cosmetic, not function whatsoever, right? It would do the opposite for function. And I'm here to tell you, no, it would not have that effect. So I'm gonna put these on. I don't have exotropia, so it's not going to improve fusion. We'll see, but I want you to see if you notice that the whole eyeballs shift, okay? You ready? Here's my eye alignment now. Oof, that is so trippy. So now I have double vision. Um, it's kind of forcing me into that double vision. If I really relax, no I can't, okay? So how do my eyes look different with and without this prism on, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna shift it and I don't know, I'll, I'll have to go back and watch the video, I guess, and we'll see what I see. Okay, now we're gonna put on, I've changed it so that it's base out. This is, oh, my eyes are tired, guys. I can just feel my right eye does not like this, right? So that did not help me. It did not improve fusion, but maybe you saw the whole eyeball shift out and maybe my right eye turned in, I'm guessing, because I wasn't ha getting fusion anymore. And fusion is what is what really makes your eyes look straight, not prism, okay? So now this is going to compensate for my eye turn, right? But it's way too much. This is eight diopters on each side, so 16 total. And at worst, mine is like 12 or something. And like that's in the far distance. I think it's really more like eight. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, are we ready? Okay, so this is my eyes. And again, with these, you as a viewer should see that my whole eyeballs, instead of being this far apart, should look a little closer together. So we're just gonna see. And you get to decide if you think it's better or not. Okay, ready, go. So I'm still getting fusion, which means that my eyes must be turning in eight diopters each in order to match the direction that this is shifting. So I'm guessing my eyes look like they're pointed further in now, but they're also closer together, okay? Ooh, whoo -hoo. that is crazy town. And here, okay, got a good look at it. And here, okay, 
blink, 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 blink. You guys, you don't know, this is love. I'm gonna probably be throwing up later and regretting that. Um, so if it's the same as the video that I tried earlier, you'll see that my eyes turned in more both times because either my eyes were matching where those images were and getting fusion, or it was creating a situation where I couldn't get fusion and when I can't fuse, my brain turns my right eye in. So I'm guessing that's what you were able to see, but also you can see that my eyes are shifting out and in and that's really the only effect that people outside of me are going to see unless I'm getting fusion. So in conclusion, this long video, here's the idea. If the prism gives you single vision and good fusion and you can maybe split the difference between your eye turn and how much prism, it is going to make your eyes look more straight. Another situation would be, let's say you have 10 di diopters of esotropia and you put on prism and the doctor puts five diopters of prism in each side now all of a sudden you're able to fuse and so instead of having your eye one eye straight and one eye turned and having the difference be 10 diopters because those those eyes always want to be 10 diopters apart if you put five in each side of the glasses and you get fusion it's actually going to center that and so even though it's still 10 diopters right five on this side five on the side your eyes move to match where that prism is it splits it between the eyes so your eyes cosmetically look more balanced and functionally you are seeing single and getting depth perception and all the good things, right? It's like when I had the 18 diopter, or sorry, 16 diopters of, of prism in these, like my each of my eyes was moving in eight diopters to match where those prisms were to get fusion. And so your eyes are gonna match that. So sometimes even if you're using the full amount, it's still going to, to balance out the way your eyes look and make them seem more even. I'm going to add now, after going back and watching the video and watching me put the prism on and off my eye, you may have noticed that it kind of looks opposite of what I was saying. And that's because when, if I were to hold the glasses out far like this, you're seeing a pretty significant shift, right? My eyes look really far out. But the closer it gets to my face, let's do this, okay, you can see that pretty good. As I get closer to my face, that difference becomes less. And so as I'm putting them on, it kind of looks like they're actually shifting the opposite direction, but that's just because there's like this, shoop. does that make sense? Even though this is a base in and it's technically gonna shift my eyes out, it really is just such a slight shift it really isn't gonna make a difference for the observer, the person who's looking at your eyes through your prisms, it's not going to affect it. I know the prism is super confusing. It boggles my mind so many times and then I think I finally understand it and then something new comes up that shifts my perspective. So I get it, I know that it's super confusing. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will attempt to answer them and Bottom line, if the, um, if the prism is giving you better fusion, that's going to even out your eyes, give better alignment, and going to make your eyes cosmetically look better. If your eyes are not able to use that prism to fuse, it's really not going to change anything. So don't bother, because they're kind of expensive. <laughs> Good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.